Hi, I'm Peter Zubrowski with Halifax Shipping News, and today I'm going to tell you how you can use a micro drone to get shots like this. Micro drones have a huge advantage because there are basically only two rules that apply to their operation in Canada. The first is known as the don't be a moron rule. The second is stay out of airspace that's closed to all aircraft. The don't be a moron rule falls under the Canadian Civil Aviation Regulation 900.06 which says that it's prohibited to operate an aircraft in a reckless or negligent manner as to endanger or is likely to endanger aviation safety or the safety of another person. This rule is not prescriptive. So whatever you are doing, as long as that you have shown that you have taken reasonable steps to protect aviation safety and the safety of other people, you are permitted to do it. To me, that means making sure that there's no other aircraft in the area, staying away from people who are not involved in your operation, um, common sense stuff like that. The second rule is stay out of airspace that's closed to all aircraft. Unlike the airspace restrictions that apply to small remotely piloted aircraft, micro remotely piloted aircraft systems are required only to stay out of airspace uh, that's closed to all aircraft uh, as per section 5.1 of the Canadian Aviation Regulations. Airspace that's closed to all aircraft is Class F airspace, which is military exercise areas or airspace over uh, sensitive locations such as prisons. Airspace over declared wildfires and within five nautical miles of wildfires or any other airspace that's closed by a notice to airmen or any other airspace that's closed to all aircraft through the regulation in Section 5.1. You can fly in all other classes of airspace, which means you can fly next to helipads and near airports that you cannot fly in with small remotely piloted aircraft systems. This map is from the NRC tool that shows you where you can fly. This first map is all the airspace in Halifax that's closed to small remotely piloted aircraft systems. If you have an advanced operations certificate, you can file for a special flight operations certificate and request permission to fly in this airspace. But if you only have a basic certificate, you're, you cannot legally operate in this airspace. This is the map of airspace that's closed to, to micro drones and as you can see, only the Class F airspace is closed to those devices. You can fly anywhere else. So all the helipad restrictions for the hospitals that apply to small RPAs, um, the Shearwater Airport, all of that airspace is open to micro drones. I fly with a DJI Mini. This is the original. Um, it's a sub 250 gram drone, obviously. Um, and it works really well. Uh, it was super affordable to pick up and as an enhancement to its operation, I've actually picked up a iPad mini two, uh, and an extended cable, which I then use to, um, give me a better viewing area. Um, so I can see what I'm doing within the, um, DJI fly app. I use my drone to capture a lot of shipping and a lot of the shipping that takes place in Halifax is in areas that small remotely piloted aircraft systems are prohibited in flying in because of the sheer water airport controlled airspace. That doesn't apply to micro drones. So that allows me to get shots like this. If I had a larger drone to be able to fly in any of these places, I would need to get an advanced operations certificate my drone would need to be registered and I would have to file in advance for a special flight operation certificate for each one of these flights to ensure that I had permission from the relevant authorities to access the airspace. By using a micro drone, I don't have to do any of that. I can get the shots just by showing up. Now, because I do fly in an area that is near an airport, I visually make sure that there are no uh, aircraft present. I also listen to the relevant uh, control frequencies uh, to make sure that there's no aircraft in the airspace and that I'm being as safe as I can. I also typically fly 
uh, within 100 feet of the top of the cranes. So I'm in places where aircraft aren't going to be operating. I hope you enjoyed this video on the benefits of using a micro drone to get the shot. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, like and subscribe. Also, if you enjoyed this video or you have a significant beef with it, leave a comment down below and uh, maybe we can take it up in a further video. Thanks for watching.